Hello guys, this is Pojita Harish and I will be uploading ECA interviews with detailed explanation and solving it completely. So please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel and because that keeps me motivated to do more videos. Thank you guys. So let's go to another question, illustration 12. MK Limited manufactures and sells a single product X whose selling price is 40 per unit and the variable cost is 16 per unit. The first thing is should hit us, we have to calculate the contribution. So, next is, if the fixed cost for the year is 4,80,000 and the annual sales are at 60% margin of safety, calculate the rate of net return on sales assuming on the income tax level is 40%. The next question is for the next year it is proposed to another product line Y whose selling price would be 50 per unit and the variable cost is rupees 10 per unit. The total fixed price would be rupees 50 per unit and variable cost rupees 10 per unit. The total fixed costs are estimated at 6,66,600. The sales mix of X is to Y would be in this ratio 7 is to 3 determine at what level of sales next year would MK limited break even. Give separately for both X and Y the break even sales in rupees and quantities. So I said that first we have to calculate contribution. They have calculated contribution. We will also calculate. Chal, let's go. So illustration 12. The first question, we have to find out the contribution. Contribution is sales minus variable cost. So sales is rupees 40 and variable cost is rupees 16. Contribution will be 24 rupees. Then we know that BEP, break even point is equal to fixed cost divided by contribution. Contribution per unit contribution per unit so fix given as 4,80,000 divided by contribution per unit is equal to 24 that is equal to 20,000 units so break even point is equal to 20,000 units so in this question they have given hint for the sales like saying uh, sales is the 60% of the margin of safety so using this hint we will find out the sales now and then the return, net return on the sales Okay, there's a formula for that. Percentage, percentage margin of safety is equal to actual sales minus BEP sales, actual sales minus BEP sales divided by actual sales. So, percentage of margin of sale safety is equal to so margin of safety is sixty percent is equal to actual sales we don't know so we'll keep it as actual sales minus BEP sales just now we have found out that BEP sales is equal to 20,000 units 20,000 units 20,000 units divided by actual sales now actual sales into 0.6 is equal to Actual sales minus 20,000 units. So this is this can be called as 0.6 AS is equal to AS minus 20,000 units. Okay, so AS 0.6 AS minus AS is equal to minus 20,000 units. Okay, okay, 0.4 AS is equal to 20,000 units. Okay, AS is equal to 20,000 divided by 0.4. AS is equal to 50,000. Now we have found out the actual sales. So using actual sales, we will find out the net rate of return. Now we will prepare, prepare the marginal cost statement. Marginal cost statement. Here it is particulars and rupees. Sales is 50,000 units. 50,000 into 40 rupees is per unit. So 50,000 into 40 is equal to 20 lakhs. And less variable cost. 
variable cost will be 50,000 for 50,000 units only we will do because it is flexible based on the sales only variable cost will depend so 50,000 into 16 rupees per unit 50,000 into 16 is equal to 8 lakhs 8 lakhs so if we if we deduct we will get 12 lakhs this is called as contribution 12 lakhs is called as contribution less fixed cost less fixed cost fixed cost they have given us 4 lakh 80 thousand so we will get 12 minus i mean 13 minus 4 will be 7 lakh 20 7 lakh 20 thousand this is called as profit so profit minus income tax at 40 percent so seven lakh twenty thousand into forty percent is equal to two lakh eighty eight thousand. So the net return is equal to four lakh thirty two thousand. So percentage, I mean, rate of net return is equal to rate of net return is equal to this 4,32,000 divided by the sales 20 lakhs into 100. So we get 21.6% as the rate of net return. This is for the first part. Now coming to second part. The second question they have asked us to uh, prepare another sales report that is when by adding a new product called as Y and its price will be 50 rupees per unit and uh, variable cost is 10 rupees and the total fixed price will be so much and they have said that the mix of the sales mix is equal to is in the ratio of 7 is to 3 and they are asking us to determine what will be the sales for the sales level for the next year okay we'll calculate that so they have also asked this the level of sales for the next year that means both x and y together and separately we have to give the uh, quantities and break even sales for and quantities in for the product x and y basically there are two products x and y so the selling price for the x is 40 and for the y is 50 less variable cost so variable cost is 16 for this and 10 for this contribution per unit is equal to twenty four and forty they have said that the sales ratio is seven is to three that will be seven quantities will be produced in the name of x and three quantities will be produced in the name of y so the total contribution in the sales ratio will be okay contribution in sales ratio will be 24 into 7 that is 168 and 40 into 3 is equal to 120 so they have asked us to provide the contribution for combined the uh, combined activity so if we say that combined activity then product x also will included will be included and product y also will be included so for this we have to take the weighted contribution together so weighted contribution is equal to weighted contribution is equal to this 24 into 7 plus 40 into 3 divided by 10 that is 168 plus 120 divided by 10 we will get 28.8 per unit now we got the contribution weighted contribution now we will find out BEP BEP okay so total fixed cost divided by 
weighted the total uh, contribution the new contribution so weighted contribution is equal to total fixed cost for the next year will be 6,66,600 divided by the divided by the new contribution is equal to 28.80 so that gives the units to 23,145.80 units okay this is weighted this is combined for the next year sales b the bp for the next year sales okay so they have asked us to find out uh, they have told us to find out the bp separately for x and y so that we will find out now so break even point for x okay the sales ratio is equal to 7 by 10 for this into this thing 23,145 okay 0 0.80 and uh, that will be 16,202 units for x now bp for y so y ratio is equal to 3 by 10 into 23,145.80 that comes to 6,944 units. So, these are in units. We want in units as well as the BP in rupees. So, BP in rupees will be into the price. Okay. So, price for this will be for this it is 40 rupees selling price. For this it is 50 rupees. So that is equal to 6,48,080 rupees. This will be rupees 3,47,200. That's all about this question. They are using the fixed cost. They are finding the break-even point units and in rupees. So first what they are telling this. Um, 6 lakh 60,000 is a fixed cost but fixed cost is both for x and y using the the ratios they are finding separate fixed cost for x separate fixed cost for y and and they are using this formula fixed cost divided by contribution per unit in the in the place of fixed cost they are uh, they are writing this fixed cost 388500 that is the new fixed cost divided by contribution per unit then they'll get the units then units into the amount of uh, selling price if they do they'll get the bep in rupees so that's all about this question also watch all other illustrations regarding to this chapter and i'll provide the link below in the description box please do watch it